Hey guys, I'm out here with Cody with Genesis Arms. He's gonna go over some of their new stuff. Awesome, thanks man. Hey, uh, we're really excited to be out at Range Day today. We got our, uh, we got a couple of really unique items on the range. We got an SBS and a 10 and a half Gen 12. That is our 12 gauge AR platform. What makes us different than everybody else in the market is that we actually sell a upper conversion for existing 308s that are already in the market. All of our guns are built on the DPMS. So if you have a DPMS added rifle, then you can convert it over to a 12 gauge just simply by <laughs> changing out uppers. When you're done with the 12 gauge, you can throw it back on and you're ready to go. It's as easy as just slap it on a new upper and you're good to go. It is. Awesome. Now what's the price point between that to go with the uh, upper? So a standalone upper is right around 1500 bucks, and then our full ones are right around 10000 Okay, now do you have barrel length options? Yeah. So obviously everybody asks about how short can it go. So we made sure that uh, the non-NFA items were met. So we have a 10 and a half inch version. We're now fitted with uh, obviously your receiver extension. It beats that 26 inches overall. It's greater than that. And then also we have a 14 and a half inch version. Okay. And then obviously for other states and obviously just non, uh, non NFA uh, standard is the 18 inch. Okay. Now are you guys looking at building a full gun complete or are you guys just going to stick with uppers and go? We sell full guns as well. So okay. that's generally, uh, we sell a lot of those, but uppers, some people already have the 308, so they yeah. wanted just an upper. So we offer that as well. Uh, it's two and three quarter, it's also three inch. All the components are standard 308 components. And how much is the full gun complete? Uh, that's 2000 2000 okay. Let's go shoot some stuff. Let me walk you through a couple things on the Gen 12 before we get off of it. All right, so this is our standard 18 inch. Uh, one of the things that makes our system unique is, and it's not unique to the shotgun realm, it's just unique to an AR shotgun, is that we don't have any gas tubes or pistons inside the operating the system. It's actually a short recoil, which actually moves the cyclic operations. But again, it's a standard DPMS buffer spring. And then we're using the uh, reflex triggers inside here. Okay. And uh, otherwise, it's just standard components in the lower. Awesome. So this is your complete right here. Yeah, this is our complete. This yeah. is basically exactly what you'll get if you do a two thousand dollars setup. You'll get this exact gun minus the EO tech, obviously. Yep. Okay. And awesome. then we also have shorter versions as well. This is our ten and a half inch. That is awesome. Yeah. This this is a crowd pleaser for sure, and it's that a lot of fun so to cool. shoot. Um, because we're using a a three hundred eight lower. We have the ability to use accessories in the market like the law folding tactical. Uh, gives you a real compact package. That is awesome. So again, this also is sold as a brace without the folder, and that does meet greater than 26 inches. So that's also available on our website as well. Or so if you already have a brace through it lower, you can convert it. Okay. So if you buy this with the brace, are you going to get the law folder? No. Okay. That's something you can add. Yeah. The ATF okay. changed the rulings on how things are measured until yeah. we get clarification. We're not going to do that. I don't think anyone really understands what they test. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we got some slugs. We got some burn shot. Uh, stick to those two green targets down the middle of the lane here. Okay. Uh, Thank you. It's on you. That's cool. All right, you gonna talk about the magazines that they have here for the shotgun. All right, so one of the things that we have to overcome with any shot shell is the variety of the actual husk that's on a shotgun. Some are ribbed, some are smooth, some stick, some don't. And there's also a variation in the length of themselves. All that aside, one of the things that we did is that whenever you were pulling your magazine out and you traditionally like on a second magazine or even the MK 1919 magazines you always end up with a shell that sticks out and we'll do that when you go to reload so what we did is instead of having it so it cants up like this we put these front tabs in the front of our magazine that pulls the shell down so when you pull it out or you go to stow it you're less likely to lose it secondly it also feeds and it helps aid in our feeding of the shotgun and makes it more consistent. And then under slow-mo, you can actually see the shell going in instead of a ramped motion. It actually goes in awesome. kind of in line with the bore. Yeah. So that was just one of the small things that we did um, for a magazine just to make the gun itself more reliable. Great, that's awesome. Now, proprietary, correct? You yeah, there, this is our IP. This is unique to us. It's okay. what's under our patent. And then for people that want to upgrade and get different magazines, how much is it going to cost for a, an extra magazine? Uh, magazines, I don't quote me actively. 
right around $22 for a five rounder. And I don't know the price off the top of my head, right around $39 for a 10 rounder. Okay. And are these the fives? Correct? Yep, these are the five. Okay. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, sorry for the wind noise and people noise. Kind of hard to uh, keep it down with being in the show and out of the range. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you guys want to help out me and support the channel, uh, go down to the link. There's a link for my Patreon and then my website there. From there, you can go to other websites. Anything you purchase there helps out my channel. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I will be continuing to getting video content over the entire show throughout the week. And I'll be posting it as soon as possible.